Okay, hello and welcome. If you've just joined us, welcome to this verbling class. It's a writing class with me, I'm teacher Amy, um, and we're going to be practicing our writing skills today. So this is something that maybe you leave a little bit behind. I know a lot of students sometimes don't practice their writing simply because they don't have anyone to look at it. So if that's your problem, um, come along because we're going to be doing some writing and at the end of the class, or more like halfway through really, we'll be correcting everything that you've written so that you can get some feedback on your grammar, your vocabulary, your writing ability, only from my opinion. Um, so it's um, going to be an interesting class. What we've got today is basically just some key words. So you're really free to write whatever you like um, using your imagination. So um, let's say hello to our students. Um, first of all we have Anna. Welcome Anna. Thank you. Good to see you again. Um, how are you going with your writing in English? Do you practice writing a lot or not really? I like uh, writing but I just practice when I have a class about it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, as I feared, Anna, um, maybe writing takes a back seat sometimes just because it's really difficult to practice um, on your own. So it's great that you came today and we can give you some feedback on your writing. Uh, Thank you. Good to see you again. Julian, how about you? How are you? Just saw you in the previous class, so I know that you're reasonable. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hey again. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, how about you? Do you practice your writing a lot or not much? Uh, no much, really. I <laughs> I am trying. I am starting to to practice, but I I have no time. No, really, I I um, I don't take the time for my for my days to, yeah. to practice the 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 writing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Only, uh, only with uh, some chats with some friends, but yes. it's, it's maybe, but it's more informal and in in verbing class really. Yeah, absolutely. I think that is actually useful, surprisingly useful. If chat, you know, on social media sites or even email with friends, it can still be good practice, and it gives you a really good practice you know, just with informal things. And what you should always do is, if you're speaking with a native speaker, just ask them to correct you if you make a mistake, um, because it's really easy for them to do. But some native speakers are a bit shy, they don't want to put you off or, you know, make you feel bad. So it's worth asking if you're interested. And then you know that you're writing correctly if they haven't said anything, which is awesome. Um, so there's a little tip for you, Julian. Welcome. Okay. Raphael, hello. Jamie, hello. Good to see you. Um, tell us about writing. Do you do any writing in your spare time, or is it just when you come to a verbling class? Just on verbling, unfortunately. <laughs> well, at least it's better than nothing, Raphael. Exactly. Yeah, and also, I um, personally, after teaching you for a little while, I think your writing's pretty good, so I don't know if it's something you need to worry too much about. Okay, thanks for the praise. <laughs> All right, so um, I haven't. I'm just going to upload the document to Google Drive. But just before I do, I'll let you have a look at my keyword list today. Um, so what your task is is to choose one or more, I guess. If you want to use more than one of these, that's fine. But these are going to be your keyword or group of words in this case. Um, topics for today's writing. You can use your imagination and you can write anything you like. So it could be a story, it could be um, you know, a journal entry, it could be a poem, it could be a song, it could be um, some kind of you know, imaginary newspaper article, whatever you like. Um, but you have to use one of these or more um, to inspire you and we will try to guess which one you have used when we read and correct. So, um, let's just read them through. Anna, could you read the list through for us, please? Okay. Um, grandfather, sleepless, out of place, longing, should I read all? Yes, please. Ghosts, yourself, road trip, morning, the beach. 
All right, great. Thanks, Anna. Any questions about the meanings of any of those key words? No? Yes. Yes. Now, longing. What is, longing. What is longing. Longing. Yep. What does longing mean? Anybody know? I know. Uh, when you want something, but you, you really desire something, you long for it. Exactly right, Anna. Thank you. It means Thank that you, you want something a lot. Any other questions? No? All right, so I'm not going to stop talking so you guys can get on with your writing. Um, just give me a few minutes to upload the document and I will give the link to you so that you can access this file if you want to write straight onto the file. Otherwise, you can write somewhere on your computer and copy and paste at the end for me. Um, correct. So I'm going to give you about 20 to 25 minutes because there's only three of us that's quite a nice amount of time to get something good. Just take your time to think about what you want to write and make sure you leave a few minutes at the end to check. I'll remind you when it's checking time. Um, so off you go and I'll give you the link in just a couple of minutes. All right, the link is now available in the Google chat box, guys. So if you want to click on that, you can. Just type your name somewhere and start writing. Make sure it's below the topics, just so that nobody moves around and it goes up and down. And I will see you soon. If you have any questions, don't forget I'm right here, so just ask. Uh, yes, uh, we're, we're right. Where we where we can write write. <laughs> where Sorry. do where do we write? Where yeah. do we write? Um, it's up to you, Julian. If you want to click on the link that's in the Google chat box, you can access the document Google. just like Anna. Yep, the Google okay. chat. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no worries. I I find that. Okay. Don't forget, if we could just keep our mics on mute while we're typing, then we don't have everyone else's breathing and typing noises and we can all concentrate. <laughs> uh, please, um, Sarah, your anonymous, don't mess up my writing. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we never it's just Julian, Anna. Anna. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I am a...
your teacher. <clears throat> what is the past tense of should? Um, the past tense of should. Shu. Shu. Show. Shu. Shu. S A S O. Can you give me the sentence, Anna? I'm not quite sure what word you're mentioning, or just type it for me. I show my ghosts in the past. Sh oh, as in shoo away to get rid of? Yes, to get rid of. <laughs> Shoed is a past tense. <laughs> what's a pack? Pardon? Uh, how, how can I spell it? S H double O E D. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, and while I'm on the air, just reminding you that you've got just over five minutes left, so it's sort of time to try and wrap up and check through. I finished. I wrote a poetry. <laughs> Wonderful, Anna. I can't <laughs> wait to read it. Right, have you checked it through? Teacher, it must be full of mistakes. <laughs> have you proofread it, Anna? Like, checked everything carefully? I will. I okay. will go. Okay, check it through and then tell me when you're ready. Okay, I, I am I am ready. I use it all words, almost all words. I just oh, right. to, I just didn't use the, the sleepless and yourself. Okay, perfect. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Could you read it for us, please? Okay. I'm from a house full of kids and vacations with my family at my grandfather's farm. I'm from the smell of mornings smells of wet earth and mischief without intent to harm. I'm from a time to make believe it, to be an actress or a beautiful model full of charm. I'm from a childhood surrounded by perfume, <laughs> happiness, memories and also gloom. I'm from hot trips from Polish blood and Brazilian heart. I am made from pieces and I'm made from parts. I'm from an apartment by the beach and a school of nuns who were always talking about heaven and generosity, but they were evil and tried to ruin <laughs> my career. <laughs> 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 I had a pen and a paper to jot down my fantasy, so I wouldn't be punished for doubt the Bible story. <laughs> um, uh, could you scroll down? Ah, great, yep. More? Yes. Because the pen and the paper were both my glory. Blessed pen and paper that have never gone, that are always with me and don't leave me alone. I have no labels. I am right and wrong. I'm long to live forever and supposed to last a season. Like all human beings who are not for so long. So I have to be happy no matter what's the reason. I am from I dare you, as my cousin used to say, and no one can dare me because it's my way. I shoot my ghosts away. I am everything I was long to be. I am better than no one. I am just me. 
Wow, Anna, that is awesome. I love it. Thank you. That is such a cool poem, and I'm amazed that you wrote that in like ten minutes in in a, your second language. That is astounding. Um, in, okay. I, I try to to rhyme, and I use it almost <laughs> your words. I know. I'm so impressed, and it's just such a cool poem. So let's just go through it. Um, there's a few little corrections, but overall, the style is really beautiful, and I love the way that you've called it. I'm from. The only thing is that I think it's, as you've written here, I am from. I think that's better just because um, of the poetry. So I think you should call it I am from as the title as well. Rather than I'm from. Okay. Um, just because it's like uh, the repetition is a bit more powerful. And also when you split the words up, it's a bit more powerful as well, I'd say. All right. So. I am from a house full of kids and vacations with family at my grandfather's farm. Cool. Usually at the end of a line of poetry, we either need a comma or a full stop. Um, but that's quite dependent on when you want the pauses to be. So it might be, I'll just let you do that after we finish correcting, okay? Just choose whether you have a comma here or a full stop. If you want a comma, carry a comma. on with some. A comma? All right. I'm from I don't know. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I'd say um, I'll give you a, a, another five minutes at the end, like after I've corrected, to just go through and decide. The the way to make okay. the decision is full comma. Stop. Okay. Yeah. Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. Comma. Okay. Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. Comma. Full stop. Uh, full stop, full stop, comma, 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 no, full stop, a uh, comma. This one um, maybe do doesn't need anything because I think the line runs on, so just leave that one. Okay. A glory. Same, same for that one. Yeah. Glory full stop. Yeah. Blessed. Never gone. A comma. Full stop. Full stop. Comma. I don't know. I think you should leave that one because you've got it here. So okay. I have to be happy no matter what is the reason. Full stop or comma here. Full stop. Comma. Full stop. Um. Full stop. Full stop and full stop. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to the beginning. So, uh, first one. I'm from a house full of kids and vacations with family at my grandfather's farm. Perfect. I'm from the smell of mornings. Smells? Why did you choose plural for smells instead of just smell? I don't know. I think we should stick with smell, personally. Because otherwise it feels like there's more than one smell of wet earth, which is a bit unusual. It could be. But because you've got smell here in the singular, I think it's nicer to keep it in the singular, personally. Okay. Um, smell of wet earth and mischief without intending. Without intending. Or intention, but you can't just say intend, okay? Okay. Um, I would say actually intention might be better. Um, but that's up to you. I'll put both. I am from a time to make believe to be an actress or a beautiful model full of charm. I would say a time of make believe. Comma, to be an actress or a beautiful model full of charm. Um, I'm from a childhood surrounded by perfume with an E. Happiness, memories, and also gloom. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I'm from road trips from Polish bread and Brazilian heart. I'm made from pieces and made from parts. I'm from an apartment by the beach and a school of nuns who were always talking about heaven and generosity. They were evil and tried to prune my curiosity. <laughs> That's the best <laughs> line, Anna. <laughs> I had a paper and a pen and paper I, to I down. It was the silliest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really like it. So I wouldn't be punished for doubting the Bible story. I think maybe we do need a comma there because we've got because, because the pen and paper with both my glory. Blessed pen and paper that have never gone, they're always with me and don't leave me alone. I have no labels, I'm right and wrong. I'm longing to live forever. I'm supposed to last a season. Like all human beings who are not for so long, so I have to be happy no matter what the reason. We don't need to say is there. No matter what the reason, no matter what time, no matter what the purpose. So you don't need to put a verb here, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I'm from I dare you, comma, before speech marks, comma, in the speech marks, as my cousin used to say, and no one can dare me because it is my way. Um, I shooed my ghosts away. I'm everything I was longing to be. I'm better than no one. I'm just me. Awesome. I think it's just a brilliant poem. Um, I would like to ask permission to share that on my Verbling Facebook page. Yes, teacher. Is that okay? Because I think it's a great poem. It's just so nice. Some other students would like to read it, possibly. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Awesome start. Okay, let's see if... Uh, oh, do you understand all the corrections? There's hardly any. It's pretty much perfect. But any questions before I move on? No, I, I understand. Thank you. Great. Okay, thank you, Anna. That's such an awesome poem. All right. Um, Julian or Raphael, are either of you guys ready? Yeah. Perfect. Julian, are you? Here we go. All right, could you read for us, please? Okay. Um, you think I'm right? You think one time in your life the road drive around the world? Most of the people have this dream or have talked about this topic one time in their life. When talking with their friends, when they is a take a shower on other personal moments. But what is the barrier that have to overcome the to make real this dream? Uh, the most frequent excuses for don't make anything about that are we need more money before I start I have to go to economic security we have finished my studies I start I had a finishing my studies when I will start uh, another more however the deep aspects uh, however the deep aspects that don't all take the decision about it is the fear about the unknown and your certainty in the future and the future. Nobody say it's easy to do it, but the finality will be exciting. Uh, but for break down the fear and your certainty, you need to be strong aware uh, and have truth in the in that everything will be good. All right, Julian. So this is like um Maybe a bit related to our last class, not wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah a couple really. of ideas were ringing some bells for me just it, then. It's the worst way to waste time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, cool. So let's go through it. Well done. I really like the little um, interesting ideas in here. So you think one time in your life, do a road trip around the world. Um, okay. Just the first sentence, um, I think what you really are meaning to say is you're thinking, or you say you think, um, but then one time, I would say uh, maybe sometime, you think about, or possibly you're thinking about, this is up to you, just see what sounds more natural, you're thinking about um, sometime in your life, um, so this is like um, your thing is Julian, like something continually keep coming back to. That would be the meaning of use your thinking. If you say you think, it's like a one-off kind of thing. One wake up and go, oh, I want to do a road trip. So that's up to you, okay? It could be either of those. Um, 
but you do need a bout because um, otherwise uh, it's not something you're considering. It's sort of like an opinion, which isn't quite the right idea here. So I think you need a bout. Sometime in your life doing. Doing because it, this is, is the subject of what you're talking about. The verb here, okay? Doing a road trip around the world. If you have an exclamation mark, you don't need a full stop because it counts as a full stop as well, okay? Um, all right. Most of people, most people, we don't need of, most people. Has this dream I thought about this topic one time in their lives? Yeah. Most people, um, you can either say have, have this dream, or you could say have had this dream. Is it either of those are fine? Or, and because you've got thought, you don't say had thought because we're not talking about the past. You're talking about um, like a hypothetical situation. So it needs to use have, have thought about. The, um, one time, we usually say, there was one time when I went to the beach. Um, whereas if we're talking about one time as in um, one occurrence, you say once. Once in their lives. Because I, I think life is better here because you're talking about people in general but um, one person at a time. So most people have had this dream or have thought about the topic once in when talk with their friends, when talking, this is the same thing as above, doing, talking, these are the subject, when talking with their friends, when <laughs> they are, when they are taking a shower, because they is plural, so you need to say what is, and because you've got the verb to be, then you need to use ing, or you could say when they take a shower, okay? And other personal moments. Yeah. But what is the barrier that they, we don't, we need a subject. What is the barrier that they have to overcome to make, to make this dream real? Or we usually say to make this dream come true. We usually say to make a dream come true. You can say real, but it sounds a bit more normal to say dreams coming true. The most, oh, start a new paragraph. The most frequent excuses for not making. Um, this is the same as above because you've got this as the subject. Because it's negative, you need to add in that not. We don't say don't, we say not making. Um, anything about that. I think really what we need to say is doing, not doing anything about. Perfect. You should have dot 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 or maybe a colon or something because you're about to tell me some of the excuses. You need a capital when you start speech marks. We need more money. Um, before I start, I have got my economical security. Um, before I start, I need. I would say here, I need economic. We don't say economical when we're talking about money. In English, economical either means to do with the economy in general, like the country's economy, or it means um, being uh, using your money wisely. If you are economical, it means you use your money wisely. You don't waste a lot of money. But in this sense, we usually say financial, financial security. <laughs> Um, when I had finished my studies, when I'll start. When I finish, because had finished is the past, and what you're talking about is the future. So when I finish my studies, um, and then you don't need to say when, you just say I'll start. And other more. Um, I'd say lots more, or just more. You don't need to say other. However, Deep aspects that don't allow to take a decision about it is the fear about the unknown. Okay, the deep aspects that don't allow um, is, is, I see the idea, but I think a better word here would be prevent. 
because it's like they stop us from doing it. It's not really permission, it's more like a barrier. So I would say prevent us from making a decision. Deep aspects that prevent us, maybe deeper aspects that prevent us from making a decision about it um, is the fear about the unknown and the uncertainty in the future. Yeah, we don't need the, because we're just mentioning some reasons. So, fear about the unknown and uncertainty in the future. Nobody says, nobody is, is like it or he or she, okay? So it's third person. Nobody says it is easy. In English, we can't just say is, we have to say it is. So nobody says it is easy. Um, it here is the subject um, instead of like he or she. Easy to do, possibly. But definitely, but it, we need the subject again. It definitely, we would say will first. It will definitely be exciting. This actually says exiting, Julian, <laughs> which is a different, it's a verb, right? To exit means to uh, leave. So exciting has a C, okay? Now for break down the fear, and, but to, think in order to, or so, but to break down the fear and uncertainty, you need to be strong. And I've got that, or have trust in the fact that everything will be good. Awesome! I really like the ideas, really interesting. Now, there's a few different um, corrections, but some of them are sort of just repeated ones. Do you have any questions? Do you understand everything I've done there? Yes, yes, I understand. Brilliant. Well done, Julian. Um, you actually yeah. attempted to describe some quite difficult concepts, so don't be um, disheartened by your mistakes, okay? It just shows that you've um, yeah. used your English to the max, which is exactly what I want you to do in a writing class, so well done. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, Raphael, your turn. Let's go down here. Are you ready? Okay, I know there are, there are some prepositions mistakes because honestly I don't like prepositions. I, <laughs> you know. Let's right. go. Uh, here's the night. The king of the day has gone. The soaring shadows emerge off the ground like lost souls which wander since the genesis. Along the shore, a cold and biting breeze blowing out. On the sky, the spiring stars link the past and the present. At the zenith, an astonishing gleaming moon, like a damsel spreading his beauty and delicacy, blessing and nursing the love with his mysterious pureness, like a sap which flows through the stalk to feed the flowers. From the mountain, the ghost of silence rules with its daunting reigns, until the moment that the whole of the world takes place, and the blow of the wind sweeping the innocence. On the shore, the sleepless fishermen starting their childish journey, striving to get their reward, saying their prayers to Neptune. At the horizon, a unique and sincere tale of longing, coming out of tired eyes but glaring with hope of better days, and a safe comeback. At the beach, the, rent the relentless struggle for life. You see, uh, little souls coming up out of the sand. Above them, hungry and cunning flying demons, looking for a single opportunity, a thin threshold splitting their fate, for the freedom or the eternity, no one knows. The dawn is coming, bringing the sounds of the purity. The cycle starts over again, bringing the happiness and the joy of the childhood and the hopefulness of a better tomorrow. Wow, Raphael, that was amazing. It's like, um. A fantasy world almost. I like all of the imagery you've used and it just created this amazing kind of picture in my mind. Well done, that's awesome. Um, so let's go through and see if we can just make a couple of adjustments. Um, here's the night. Um, so I really like that as an opening sentence. It might be worth considering 
See, considering using here is the knight, it depends on what kind of feeling you want. For me, if you say here is the knight, it's a little bit more dramatic. Here's the knight is almost like introducing the knight. Like, here's my mum, or here's my friend Raphael. So that's up to you, but it's correct, okay? Okay. Um, the king of the day is gone. Comma, I would say there. The soaring shadows emerge. Usually we say emerge from. From, from, yes, from. I was in doubt about it. All right, so um, if something is moving, like a direction, we don't say of. Of is indicating, um, you know, a relationship of, um, uh, how can you say it? If you're talking about direction, we would tend to use the prepositions from or to if something's moving. Because the shadows are emerging, then we need from because they're coming out of the ground, right? Um, like of is usually something more, more to do with belonging, okay? Like lost souls which wander since the genesis. Because we've got since, we need a different verb tense, which either have wandered or have been wandering, I feel is slightly better. Because it gives this really long sense of, um, like, I don't know, them wandering around for years and years. Along the shore, a cold and biting breeze blowing out. If you say a wind has blown out, it actually means that it's it's blown to a stop. I'm not sure if that's what you wanted to, to say. So Should we I would, move it out? Um, yes, you can say blowing or blowing around or blowing in and out if you want to get the sense of me moving. Around would be perfect because it would rhyme with ground and it's, yeah, good I point, Anna. What would you prefer, Raphael, to remove it, put around? Put around, around. Raphael. Okay. Okay, around. Um, biting breeze is a really nice one. Okay, on the sky. Okay, on the sky is an interesting one. It's not wrong because it's poetry. Um, we tend to think of the sky as, as something that you are in rather than on. If you say on, it's almost like it's kind of a painting or something. So that's up to you, okay? Okay. The inspiring stars linking the past and the present. Nice. The zenith, an astonishing and gleaming moon, like a damsel spreading. Okay, a damsel is a is definitely <laughs> <Sorry>. female. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Sorry. I love that that image. Beauty and delicacy. Blessing and nursing the love with her. Her mysterious, yes, sorry. Her mysterious, it's like a stack, we need a comma. Like, we would tend to say not a sap, but sap, because it's usually uncountable unless you've got different types of sap, which doesn't sound very poetic. So I'd say like sap, which flows through the stalk to feed the flowers. Um, sap is something that's only in trees, I believe, Raphael. So maybe that's the wrong leaves. word. Maybe. The leaves? To feed the leaves. To feed the leaves. Yeah, you could say leaves. Okay. Um, all right. Or, alternatively, nectar is something that's in flowers, so you could change it to nectar, which flows through the stalk to feed the flowers. Up to you. Okay, from the mountain, the ghost of silence rules with his daunting reins. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. Until the moment that the howl of the wolves takes place. Until the moment that the howl of the wolves takes place. Okay, yeah. And the blow of the wind sweeping the innocence. Um, to sweep. For me, it feels like you need a, a preposition here. Sweeping the innocence way, sweeping the innocence up, sweeping the innocence to somewhere. Uh, but sweeping the innocence doesn't doesn't quite work. It needs something at the end here. I feel. Does it require an object? Um, 
technically no, because you can say, oh, I'm sweeping, or you can just say, I'm sweeping, but because it's a poem, it just feels like it needs something else. Sweeping the innocence is not finished. It seems like you need, where's the innocence going, or what's happening to the innocence? Okay. You could say sweeping up the innocence, if you don't want it to go anywhere, then it would work. Up to you, okay? Have a think about that one. I'll put it in brackets. Um, okay. On the shore, the sleepless fishermen starting their tireless journey. I think we need R here. Um, striving to get their award. Saying their prayers to Neptune. At the horizon, a unique and sincere tear of longing coming out of tired eyes, but glaring with hope of better days and a safe comeback. At the beach, the relentless struggle for life. Full stop. Little souls coming out of the sand. Full stop. Above them, hungry and cunning flying demons looking for a single opportunity. A thin threshold splitting their fate for the freedom or the eternity. Okay. Freedom and eternity don't need the article, okay? For freedom or eternity, no one knows. The dawn is coming. Okay, so this is optional. You can say dawn is coming, but the dawn is coming is okay too. What you mean then is the dawn of this particular day. If you want to say dawn in general, as a general kind of topic, then say dawn is coming bringing the sounds of the purity, bringing the sounds of purity. The cycle starts over again, bringing, bringing the happiness and joy of childhood and the hopefulness of a better tomorrow. Wow. What a cool poem. Thank you, Raphael. Do you understand all the, the corrections I've made? Uh, in the last paragraph, you mentioned something but remove the, the article. But mm -hmm. in in the second last, it says, mm -hmm. bringing the happiness and uh, and the joy. Uh, do I have? To, can I put the joy the the article for the joy? No, it's since I mentioned the happiness, it's automatically yeah joy. Is it's automatically counted because you've got both of those things under this one the. If you say the again, it just sounds a little bit too repetitive and heavy for poem. Bringing the happiness and the joy of childhood, you can say that if you want. It's not wrong. Um, it's just a matter of style, really. Okay. Uh, but you can't say the here because you're not talking about anybody's particular childhood. Um, if you said the childhood of, you know, this particular person, then it would be okay, but because you've just got childhood, you need to get rid of the article, okay? Okay. Brill. Any other questions? Mm, no, no. Thank you. Wow, what an amazing writing class, guys. Thank you so much. Now, um, I've already asked Anna, but Julian and Raphael, um, how do you feel about me sharing your writing on Facebook? Okay. Raphael Great. agrees. Julian? I'm becoming famous. Yes. Oh, yes. You'll, you'll get publishing <laughs> deals rolling in after this class. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, are you still there, Julian? Yes. Yes, I'm still here. How about you? Do you mind if I put, put your writing on Facebook, or would you rather not? Sorry. No, I understand. If I write in Facebook, another social page? Yeah, well, I'm asking you if you mind if I put your writing on my, my Verbling Teacher Facebook page as a kind of illustration of today's class because I think the writing today was so amazing that it might be nice for other students to read, but only if you agree. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, really. You agree? I agree. No problem, yes. No problem right, with that. <laughs> In that case, I'm off to do that now. Anna, yep. Yes, I thought his poetry was awesome, and there are a lot of new words for me there. Absolutely. Um, I think there was 
really stunning writing today. So thanks, everybody. You just made my day. Um, I hope you have a great weekend. And I'm off to Facebook now to post your writing so other people can enjoy it. So <laughs> take care. <laughs> and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, Amy. Goodbye. Bye. Um, have a good weekend. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>